Now, we're going to show you how to make a dome out of gumdrops and toothpicks. Tunisia I of Kansas City, Missouri sent us the directions. To make one, you'll need 11 gumdrops and 25 toothpicks. Here's what you'll do. Take five gumdrops. One, two, here I'll do it for colors. Three, four, five. And connect them with five toothpicks. One, two, you want to help? three, four, five, sure. And form them into a ring. Okay. Like this. Thing. Yeah. All right. That'll look good. All right. Okay. Then take two toothpicks and one gumdrop to make a triangle on one side of the base. Repeat this around the base until you have five triangles. Okay. Here, I'll help you grab some. Okay. All right. Oh, wait. Am I doing the wrong way? Oh no, that's fine. Oops. Up like this. Right, I'm gonna do another one into that. Okay. Very creepy. It's going. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Cool. Now, use some toothpicks to connect the gumdrops at the top of the triangles. So we're gonna connect them like that. All righty. Okay. Then take to the toothpicks and push them in to each of the tops of the gumdrops. Okay. Now use one last gumdrop to connect the tops of the toothpicks. Okay. You put them together for me. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Perfect. Okay. Here. Okay. Oh, so it looks really cool. It's kind of falling down here. <laughs> there we go. It looks cool. Yay. It looks like a jungle gym. Then let it dry overnight. If you don't let it dry overnight, then it won't be able to support much weight. Yesterday, we made a bunch of gumdrop domes and then let them harden. Now, we're going to test their strength to see how many books they can support. Oh, okay. So I think that um, if we put um, the books on one dome, then the books will just tip over. Yeah. So we probably shouldn't put them on one dome. Yeah, so if we use three domes, then it'll be able to balance out the book's weight. So how many books do you think it'll be able to support? I'd say about, I think mm -hmm. it'll be able to support these three. Okay. Maybe a fourth, but I'm not sure. Do you want to try, try it? Okay. Ready? Yep. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> cool. These are hardened, so. Yeah, those are hardened ones. I think if we put them on this one, it would have It would have collapsed, because it's not hardened. You want to try another one? Yeah. Here, I'll be. All right. Just a, here, maybe we should take out a little one and put this one on top. Wow. So we They're have really four books so Ready? far. Do you want to try a fifth? Ready? Yep. It works. It's just... It's a little tilted. Yeah, I think. Here, I'll put the weight on top. Oh! Woo! <laughs> Five bucks! That's awesome. On gumdrops and toothpicks. The reason why the domes can support so many books is because of the way it's shaped. It's shaped like an egg. See, it has two domes on either side. It's cool, though. Cool. See, an egg can be very fragile. Oh! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> <laughs> but it can also be very strong. Look how many books three eggs can support. Ew. Maybe, okay, here, ready? Here, we'll put this one on first. All right. I'll leave this hand over here. Three Whoa. eggs support. All right, two. two. Here, wait, we'll put these little ones on. All right. Three, four. Four. We're Let's gonna see have if it can hold. a huge mess if those other ones break. Five. <gasps> That's more than a gumdrop dome. I know. Six. Whoa, now it definitely Jeez. supports more. Seven. <gasps> Eight. 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 Oh, geez, we have Let's one more. Nine. nine. Let's see. If this nine. supports nine. nine, that will be amazing. I know. One, two, three. Nine <laughs> books. It gets, ah! Oh, my goodness gracious. Awesome. That's so cool. We're going to think about how to build another dome that will support even more weight. So later, we can do another dome challenge.